just to install one of those pedestrian signals. It can cost up to $140,000, but they found these. They're solar powered. The race will start with the swim, then the bike, then the run, and it'll all start right here at Lady Bird Lake. But first, let's get to curling. Yes. Uh, because that takes some time. Uh, but this weekend, if you guys want to come out, we'll talk about that here in a second. You'll get to see, see some real athletes because um, <laughs> maybe not me, but we'll see. Don't laugh at me at, at home. But yeah, so what am I going to do, Pat? So let's okay, go. you're going to put your right foot in the hack because you're right handed. Okay. You're going to put your left foot on a piece of Teflon. Okay. Teflon on ice, okay? <gasps> okay. All right, now you're going to squat down. Uh huh. Hold the rock in your right hand and the stabilizer in your left hand. Okay. You're going to push them forward one foot. Okay. You're going to bring your hips up. You're going to bring everything back a foot. And you're going to slide forward with your left leg right toward Joe. And let go of the rock. <laughs> Yay! Good job. Look at that. Joe, going there, on. the president Down of the, the Lone Star Curling Club here in Austin. And Pat, tell folks what people can expect this weekend because you're going to get to see better athletes than me. <laughs> Yes, this weekend starting uh, today. But not as common here in Texas, right? And I'm going to give it another shot, so let me get back in. Oh, okay. In the spot. But here yeah, but not as, but not as a uh, freak. It's not it, like it's not like t-ball, right? Like kiddos here in Texas don't grow up doing this. No, no. But there's curling clubs in Dallas and Houston and Austin, and uh, we have been here for almost 14 years now, believe it or not. And I learned to curl in Austin, Texas. That's right. She tried it about 15 years, around 15 yes. years ago, and yes. you just. Fell in love with it. Fell in love with it. Yep, still here. Still All right. curling. Okay, Wish we're going to do it Maybe this one's better. <laughs> okay. The point is to not fall on your butt, so let's see. All right, so. A foot forward. Doing it right, okay. A foot back, a hips up. Hips up. Foot back. Then okay. slide out toward Joe. Look at Joe. Yay. Look at you. I'm going to put these skills to the test with a gold medalist who knows all about curling. Go back to you. You are so competitive with yourself. You're like, this is going to happen a second time. I am not going to fail. Oh, my to. goodness. <laughs> have to. Oh, that was crazy. awesome. Nice work, Candy. I didn't know there was a hockey club in North Austin. I didn't, I didn't either. I, I loved you. all of that. Not only is Candy like competitive, she's committed to fun. I know. And that is my kind of girl. Yeah. <laughs> but first, our Candy Rodriguez, who's up for anything, is showing us how to do it right. This was her during the commercial break. Yes, Candy, she's been practicing since then. And now, here she is, live from the Pond <laughs> Ice Rink in North Austin. And you have something beautiful you were holding in your hand earlier. I saw it. Yeah, actually, I made it. This is me. You, you guys saw me fall and you guys saw me fail all morning, but I'm a pro now. See, I got a gold medal. <laughs> no, joining us live this morning is Tyler George. This is his gold medal. He is the 2018, you. you're welcome, <laughs> gold medalist. And so tell me why he's sweeping right now. So sweeping can change the speed and the direction of the stone. The faster a rock is moving, the straighter it goes. And it looks like I threw it almost hard enough to get it down there, so that's why he's sweeping to try to make it go farther. All right, well, let me show you how to do it. Please do. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. Time for the pros. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. All right. Good position. Hips up and back. Drive out. There you go. That looks pretty close. Oh. And the Lone Star Open Bond Shield is happening again. This is happening this weekend. It's in the house. Look at That's that. Right. You saved right. the best for the, for the roll. Save the, oh, my goodness. I made it. All right. So Look at that. This weekend starts tonight at 4. We'll have all those details posted on KFA. Did you beat Tyler? Did you beat him? <laughs> Thank you, Tyler. You're going to have to play this weekend. I did. I beat him, right? I just did I not just beat That's him? right. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Good throw, no. Candy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Can you believe it's been 601 days since the last game that was played here at Dell Diamond? That was in September of 2019. Little did we know what was going to happen. And now in just under 14 hours, 
the first pitch will take place here. If I can throw the first pitch, Chrissy. Hey, no. when, when Major League Baseball allows us, you'll be the first one. So <laughs> right. Okay, right. okay. You heard it here first. We got it on tape now. Well, That's yeah, yeah. right. I am also ready to go on the roster. If they need me, I'm here, coach. Put me in. I thought about it. I've changed my song to Candy by Cameo whenever I throw my first pitch out. So you're going to hear, <laughs> it's like candy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys in the studio. <laughs> Well done, Candy. Well, done. I'm well done, folks. done, yes. We first introduced you to him. Here he is uh, last fall. Mm -hmm. Beloved Ains ISD custodian. He was hospitalized after getting the virus. Yeah, what a battle he had. The outcome did not look good for a long time for Albino. His family and the community, they never gave up hope now. Now, Candy Rodriguez is sharing his message to the community. To this day, Albino Hernandez wonders where he could have caught COVID-19. I keep thinking, how did I get it? It's one of the several things he thought about for the last nine months while fighting for his life. I was scared of all the needles. Albino was on a ventilator and a life support machine. At one point, he thought he would die. I would hear people say that those who had COVID-19 would only last five or six days before dying. And when I was in the hospital, I would think, I only have two days left. I imagined myself in a box, just ashes. But he remained positive. So did his family. Well, he's home, so that we're very blessed. They're not alone. Albino's Eans ISD community also showed support for the beloved custodian, welcoming him home with a car parade. I felt very happy. I miss them all very much. Today, Albino's days were filled with doctors and physical therapy appointments. His body took a hit. He dropped 60 pounds and is currently working on walking again. For little by little, we'll figure things out medically wise and he'll be back to normal. I have faith. Despite it all, he's thankful to be alive and he hopes others will stay safe. Take care of yourself. In Austin, Candy Rodriguez, KXAN News. My sister had an unfortunate situation. She was John Petros remembers the day he got the idea for Tappy Guide. It was four years ago. His sister, who was blind, was in a rideshare on her way home. Uh, you know, she was having a conversation with, her, with the driver. The driver assured her, yeah, you're in the right place. Don't worry about it. Dropped off my sister. She walks to the door, puts her key in, and she was at the wrong complex. That's what he hopes his new free smartphone app, Tappy Guide, will help Austinites avoid people like Ashley Franks. We're just like anyone else, you know, um, and then every once in a while we do need a little help. 13 years ago, she lost her vision after being shot. It was my ex-fiance. It was my daughter's father. Never did she imagine she would be able to explore the world again, but over the years, she learned how to become independent. It's one of her greatest accomplishments. I never thought I'd be where I am now. I, honest to God, I never thought I'd be where I am now. But she admits there's still work to be done. Hi, John. Yes, I'm trying to get to Torrid. Tappy Guide aims to help. This helps us eliminate one less barrier for the disabled community. The app depends on volunteers to be the eyes and ears for those who need a little guidance. It uses GPS and a smartphone's camera to guide people to their correct destination. So there's the traffic. But they need volunteers to make it happen. To give us that much more independence and live the lives that we want. In Austin, Candy Rodriguez, KXAN News.